This video is sponsored by the DJ Insurance Program through Insurance Canopy. Get one to three day liability insurance for your next event for just $59. Annual policies with equipment coverage are also available. Policies can be purchased online at www.insurancecanopy.com. What's going on? This is Kareem from DJBooth.net and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a really quick rundown video review of the brand new Pioneer DJM 250 MK2. So if you guys remember on this channel, we reviewed the original DJM 250 years and years ago. It was a really cool two channel mixer, nice compact footprint, and it was also their cheapest entry into the DJ mixer market. So Pioneer DJ has definitely put a lot of upgrades, a lot of thought into this new edition, the MK2 250, because it has a lot of upgrades in it, including better sound quality, better fader, and it also has a really cool internal record box DJ sound card. All you gotta do is plug this bad boy up to your USB, and then you can use time code vinyl, or you can use time code CDs in order to digitally play back your files on your computer using Rekordbox DJ. It also has Rekordbox DJ included in the box and it also has a Rekordbox DJ DVS kit compatibility as well. So all of that comes jam packed in the box for an excellent price point of only 350 bucks. So this is a really good deal because you're getting the sound card built inside and you're also getting a high quality two channel mixer as well. So real big thumbs up to Pioneer DJ for making the record box so accessible with this brand new two channel mixer. So setup and first impressions is very, very good. The setup is very easy, but for the first impressions, it's really, really nice, solid build quality, metal all the way around. Everything is built to last, nice compact footprint, easy to take it with you on the go, and definitely everything is built with high quality standards, metal posts under all your knobs, and just a very high quality build all around. Setup is very, very easy. All you need for that is to plug in all of your inputs or your outputs. You can set this up using Rekordbox DJ by putting in that license key that you get in the box right there from the website. And then you can download your Rekordbox DJ software. You also have the DVS unlock kit with the 250. You unlock the DVS compatibility. And then all you gotta do is plug this bad boy in, download your drivers if you're on a Windows machine, and it will just automatically work. And then you're able to make this a time code device by purchasing separately the vinyl time code that is available through Pioneer, or you can go onto the Rekordbox website and download a WAV file, so that way if you're using this with CDs or CDJs, you can easily use that with your burnt CDs or with a USB stick. So pretty easy to set up, only takes a few minutes, and the build quality is superb. Really, really nice stuff here. You have the same fader pulled from the 900 NSX2, it's the Magvel crossfader. Very, very good to scratch with. It feels very sensitive, has a very low cut in distance. I can pull off pretty much all of my scratches with this. You have your crossfader reverse controls. You also have a crossfader curve control, which is just a three-way switch for through uh, light, style fade or a really heavy cut and you also have your line faders that are really nice and smooth they're not as smooth and as fast as the magvel crossfader but they are very very good for mixing next up you have your two q buttons here your q buttons allow you to hear in the headphones what the audience doesn't hear and then above that you have your really nice sounding sound color effects filters. These are high and low pass filters. They also have a parameter knob all the way to the left and you can turn the filter on and off with the wake up filter button right there in the middle of the filter. It's really cool so that way when you're sweeping both of them you don't have to try to bring them back to the center zero. All you have to do is unclick the filter button and you'll be back to square one. It also has a really nice full kill three band EQ for all of both of your channels. You have a trim up top and you have a very nice LED meter in the middle so that way you can see where your volumes are and if you're clipping or if you're just where you need to be with all of your sources. All the way at the top you have your switches so you can control whether you're using your line, phono, or if you're using this in record box mode. And you also have your aux controls here as well. You have an auxiliary input on the back, which is RCA. You also have the ability to use an aux input as your line input, which is RCA, or you can use a computer USB input as well. And that has a trim volume gain knob for it as well. Next up, you have your microphone controls here. You have your tone, so that way you can adjust the bass and the treble. And you also have a 
level control knob for that quarter inch input on the back for your microphone. Next up you have your master control volume knob along with your headphone mixing and level controls as well all the way to the right. If you guys look on the back for the inputs and outputs, you have just your master and XLR and another master and RCA. Then you have your channel one and channel two. You have a line and phono RCA for each. Then you have an auxiliary RCA line input and a mic quarter inch input. And then you have your USB connection as well. On the front of the unit, you have two headphone outputs. You have your quarter inch and you also have your mini. So in conclusion, the new Pioneer DJM 250 MK2 is an excellent little mixer. It's nice and compact. It has great build quality, great sound quality, that great Magvel crossfader, which can do like all of your cuts. It has a really nice feel to it all, and it just feels like it's built to last. It also comes in at that excellent price point of only $350. Remember, you're getting the full Rekordbox DJ software, the DVS kit. And you're also getting the internal sound card as well, which is really high quality and it works perfectly with your record box DVS setup. The only real downside that I see to this mixer is that they have no MIDI controls whatsoever. I know at this price point, you're not really looking for any MIDI controls, but I just beg all of the DJ equipment manufacturers out there to at least give me browse and load controls at least on all of the mixers that have sound cards. We need to band together as a DJ community and make this happen at all price points. It just hurts to always go on your computer to go through your playlist and select tracks when you should just have something right there on your mixer so you can just easily go to browse to your tracks and load them. And secondly, they don't come with any control vinyl. That's right, you have to buy these separately for this and the DJM 450 as well. We'll have the full review of that put up later on in the week. But overall, excellent mixer, can't really fault it, excellent price point. It's really, really good for those who are just getting into the DJ market and you need a mixer because you want to rock out on turntables. This is the perfect place for you guys to start. So for more on the full written review, you guys can head on over to www.djboot.net slash DJS, or you can click on the link at the top of this video description. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up if you like the video, and as always, thanks for watching.